Hello friends, I warmly welcome you to the introductory video to the Citicon documentation video series. So this is a video series where we're going to be covering the controls and components that we find in Citicon desktop UI library. And this is going to be very beneficial to developers, especially to .NET developers working with WinForms c -sharp programming language and vb programming language so if you haven't subscribed to this channel i kindly ask that you subscribe so that you don't miss out when a new uh, video series is posted as you are going to do so frequently so kindly subscribe and you may also turn on your post notifications so that you are notified each time a video series is posted so each video is going to be in progression. We're going to start from the tutorial number one right up to, to the last control that we have in the library. And all the upcoming updates, new features, new controls and upgrades will also be covered within this uh, video series. And the videos will be made available as soon as the feature or the control is released. So I invite you guys to subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything so for some of you who may not be aware of the library citicon desktop ui is a library that is used by dotnet developers who program in c -sharp programming language and vb programming language using windows forms and it is built on top of the dotnet framework which means the ecosystem within this library is in tandem with the dotnet framework which makes the learning curve almost flat. So I invite you please friends to uh, take a look at this library, uh, install it in your development environment and follow along as we explore all the possible UI you can make using this library. So to start off, I'm going to show you how to install Citicon Desktop UI in your development environment. So the first thing is to head to the NuGet packages and then you can search for Citicon and you see that the library will come right at the top of the results and you can install this library within your development environment. So type Citicon and search. So let's give it a, a moment. Right, there is the library. So you can see the latest version of the library is uh, version 2.0.4. So I invite you please friends to install this library in your development environment. It's quite easy as you see from the simple steps that I'm walking through. Right, and after installation, just reboot your, your project. Just rebuild your project and you see that the controls will be available in your Visual Studio toolbox. So let's see. Right, there you can see a new tab has been added to the Visual Studio toolbox, Citicon Desktop UI. And you can see tons of controls and components that you can use. So we're going to be exploring all these components and all these controls that you see right there and we're also going to release new controls with new features we're also fi going to fix some bugs and all these improvements the changes then the upgrades and upgrades updates are going to be made available throughout this video series so i invite you please to install this library within your development environment and follow along as we're going to be exploring all of these features together and see how you can use them in your UI development. So, so this is the introductory video to this documentation video series and I invite you guys please to install this library and follow along as we are going to be explaining how to use all of these controls step by step. So the first control we're going to be using in our next video is the Citicon animate window are going to be exploring this component how you can use this component where you can use this component 
and the use cases in real-world applications. So I invite you please to follow along as we explore this beautiful library. Thank you so much. My name is Russell Ochidakwa. I'm a software developer working with the Citigon Framework Development Team. And I warmly invite you to, the, to attend this Citigon documentation video series. Thank you. Cheers.